There are certain things you should not do. For example, you definitely shouldn't attack a turtle when you're a rosy pelican. Why? Well, the turtle didn't appreciate the idea of being eaten, so the retribution was terrible. The turtle not only broke the bird's beak, it tore it to shreds and forced it to retreat. You know, I've never thought a pelican's beak is actually quite a fragile thing. I mean, this is their throat pouch. After all, it's made of skin that can be ripped quite easily. As soon as a pelican catches a fish with a hook in its mouth, this tiny piece of metal will puncture the pouch. Of course, the hole left by the hook won't look the same as the aftermath of the turtle retribution, but there's nothing good about it anyway. Fish usually either fall out of such holes or get stuck in them. Hardly this'll make a pelican happy. And it looks like the pelican's jaws, like their pouches, are shaped by the environment the bird lives in. The jaws of the white pelican are much less stress-resistant than, for example, that of the brown one. Keep in mind, white pelicans often feed from the surface, while brown pelicans dive after the fish and open their beaks underwater while moving. This requires certain durability. By the way, scientists figured this out while simultaneously studying pelicans and whales. Seems like these creatures can't possibly have anything in common, though they feed in the same way. They open their mouths, scoop the water along with the prey, then discard all the excess. I never thought about it before. But back to our rosy pelican, who wasn't lucky with its lunch. Can the bird even survive with a ruptured throat pouch? At least in theory? Well, no. The fish will simply fall out and the bird will eventually starve to death. Unless a human comes to the rescue. Steve and I aren't vets to be 100% certain about that, but we found one rescue story. In Australia, a pelican was attacked by a shark. A shark? Sounds much tougher than a turtle. The predator literally bit off a chunk from the throat pouch. The pelican was rescued by people, brought to the vets, and they spent several hours in the operating room applying 200 stitches and tending to the wounds of the bird. The story ended well because the pelican, he was named Lucky by the way, got help in time and was able to return to the wild in just 10 days. But don't think we're going to tell you another story of a hungry pelican with a poor choice of prey. This time it was the bird who was the prey. For young sharks, birds are the perfect target to hone their hunting skills, especially songbirds who won't be able to take off quickly if they accidentally fall into the water. But pelicans will do too. After all, sometimes they're clumsy enough that young sharks use them for training. They need to learn how to bite prey properly. Hmm. Speaking of prey, how come that pelican from the beginning of the video dared to attack the turtle? After all, pelicans mostly eat fish, perfecting their hunting strategies up to the tiniest detail. Many pelicans fish by swimming together in groups. They can form a line or U-shape, drive fish into shallow water, and then simply scoop it out with the water like soup. But for pelicans, fish is something like a healthy food that parents and doctors recommend. It's pretty hard to make yourself eat broccoli when there's so many burgers around, so pelicans are always ready to have some poor amphibians, crustaceans, and insects for a snack, even smaller birds or mammals. In short, the problem is that pelicans are ready to stuff anything into their beaks. I'm serious. They would try to eat anything that seems even slightly edible. Pinch a giraffe's leg? Why not? It looks delicious. Try to bite a dog. Swallow a bear cub. A cat? Donkey ear? Hell, even a kangaroo seems like a good enough dinner for a pelican. Or even a capybara. Good thing capybaras are friendly enough not to pay attention to this. It's one thing when they try to eat something alive, but the pelican that swallowed the phone? And not just swallowed, but first snatched it from someone's hand. Fortunately, people came to the rescue again and pulled the phone out of the bird. Though actually, this story could have a different ending because pelicans are too cocky. Sometimes they try to swallow large, very large prey, and they just choke. Like in the north of Minnesota, where a pelican decided to eat a large walleye. But the fish got stuck in the bird's throat because it was too big. The pelican died, and the walleye survived. If fish could snicker wickedly, that walleye probably would. Another similar story happened in the Sor Sorovar Bird Sanctuary in India. Again, there was a large pelican and a large fish. Well, this time there were people nearby who took out an overly large supper from the bird's throat in time and did surgery. Seems like pelicans, with their gluttony and strange conviction they can eat everything, need people's help more often than any other animals. However, sometimes they don't need surgeons. 
This woman, Beth Weir, is an animal rescue volunteer. And yes, she just put her hand down the pelican's throat and pulled the fish out. That's right, Beth did it with her bare hands. Did this pelican know he was trying to swallow much more than he could? Hard to say. Maybe he acted like that fellow who wanted to eat a capybara. Or maybe he just made a tiny mistake in his calculations. And now let's go back to that turtle from the beginning of the video. It's not even that it was too big for a pelican. The thing is, it wasn't the turtle you'd want to take on. It's not entirely clear from the video, but Steve and I think it was a narrow-headed soft-shell turtle. It's quite large and it's found in India. It's also bloody carnivorous and aggressive. Burrowing into the sand, the turtle waits for the prey to be within its reach. When this happens, the turtle's head quickly pops out of the shell to grab it. And yes, these turtles have very, very powerful jaws. It's an animal that'll most certainly bite a human if given the opportunity because, well, because it can. It doesn't like company. Moreover, judging by some studies, some soft-shell turtle species bite with about the same force as not very big dogs. But not all dogs are aggressive. And now imagine this creature suddenly realizes that some kind of pelican's trying to eat it? <laughs> yeah, seems like the pelican got off easy. A relative of the Indian turtle, the Florida softshell turtle, which lives in the southeastern United States, has such a powerful bite, it can actually bite off a person's finger. If it tries hard enough, of course. They also warn future turtle owners about this. Even baby turtle bites are very painful. But our unfortunate rosy pelican suffered not only because of the powerful jaws and bad temper of the turtle, its claws are also a formidable weapon. It has three on each forelimb. These claws are sharp enough to tear apart anything that gets in the way. Actually, let's be honest. Turtles quite often try to eat birds. For example, a snapping turtle, a large, powerful animal, once grabbed a pelican right in front of a bunch of bystanders. Some of them suggested it was some kind of self-defense. The turtle was just scared for its life. But snapping turtles are omnivores. Careless birds are just an item on their regular menu. The pelican from the previous video was lucky, the bird managed to free itself. Perhaps it was too large, because snapping turtles have a specially designed hunting tactic. They grab a bird that's landed on the water by the leg, clench the jaw tight, drag the bird underwater, keep it there until the poor prey drowns. Well then, it's lunchtime. A simple and effective way of hunting, which actually doesn't even require any special effort from the turtle. By the way, if the turtle really wants to, it can also hunt a pigeon. True, it'll have to get out of the water for a while, but the strategy will remain the same. And if you think that only those turtles that live in the water and move fast enough eat birds, then ha! Their terrestrial counterparts also don't mind having a bird for breakfast. Or even better, if that's a chick that can't fly away. Yes, a giant tortoise hunts a cute bird. It looks a bit ridiculous and clumsy, but the tortoise doesn't give up. Scientists were shocked when they saw it. That is, for a long time, it was believed that giant tortoises, which can now only be found in the Seychelles and Galapagos Islands, are herbivores. Well, occasionally they might eat snail shells and bird bones. Turned out that sometimes they also eat birds whole. And how do you like this fact? Tortoises rise up, extending their limbs and tail so that finches could rid them of ticks. Is that a perfectly normal situation in the animal world? Of course. But sometimes, right during the cleaning, tortoises drop unexpectedly. And the birds, which at that moment are in the lower part of the shell, are flattened. And then the tortoises eat them! Stories like this always seem like jokes to tortoise experts until there was footage of a tortoise eating a chick. And you know, I get why the scientists were in doubt, but in order to check whether a tortoise can actually be predatory, you need to understand whether it's capable of digesting meat. So Steve and I checked the research and... Turns out that no one knows that. Scientists have no idea because it never occurred to anyone that tortoises could be predators. Hunters. Well, it does sound ridiculous. There are no doubts about the snapping turtle, though. It's aggressive and has very powerful jaws. Well, not like that of a croc, of course, but the bite force is estimated at 208 to 226 newtons. Enough to break a bone. 
Even an alligator snapping turtle, which has a weaker bite, can easily crush a human hand. And yes, it's just a fake model, but its density is the same as that of a real one. Somewhere around 160 newtons is enough to crush the hand to pieces. Actually, there's been a circulating myth that the alligator snapping turtle, not to mention the common snapping turtle, can bite everything that gets into its mouths. Even a very strong piece of wood. Even a broom handle. So, that's not a myth. Scientists have tested that, and turtles really can do that. When you fell, your broom... Well, there was a turtle in... Well... See you later.